Jeremy here with Cross Grain Craftsman. Today I am going to teach you how to repair that old rickety chair or table right after this intro. So your wife or your husband probably asked you to repair this rickety old chair that you have and you probably went to go grab one of these. A screw. This is bad. Bad. What you really want to do is grab one some of this. This is good. Okay, now I can see it on your faces right now. You're like, dude, what are you talking about? Absolutely a screw is better than glue. Well, I'm going to explain to you why that is absolutely not true. All right, folks, so here's the deal. Metal and wood don't mix. They're like oil and water, all right? So here's the thing is that when metal interacts with wood, wood expands at a different rate than metal does. And on top of that, metal is much harder than wood. So when the wood expands or contracts, around that screw, what ends up happening is it crushes onto the metal, but the metal resists. And so then when the wood contracts back out, it has that indentation from the metal. So when you're talking about a threaded screw, the expansion and contraction of that wood over time loosens that screw up. What that essentially does is it makes that screw loose. It's just not a good combination. But if you glue wood to wood, then you're much more likely to have something that expands and contracts at roughly the same rate of rate. Even if it's a little bit different wood, even if the grains are running different, because obviously, well not obviously, but wood also contracts differently depending on the way the grain runs, okay? So when you have two pieces of wood graining this way and grain running this way, those grains expand and contract differently but you're gonna have a much better result with, with when those are interlocked and then glued together. You're gonna, it will expand and contract at a much more even rate than would with metal. To overcome that newer technology, what they've done is they've got these metal cylinders that are inserted into the wood and then they screw the screw into that metal cylinder. So then the threads are actually not threaded into the wood. That is actually a much, much better result. But a lot of the older furniture that you may have does not necessarily have it. It's probably something similar to this, where you've got some dowels sticking out and those dowels insert into some holes, okay? Like so, okay? Well, that's a great way to do construction. The problem being is that in maintenance, what people have done is just, well, it's loose, throw the screw into it. Bad idea. It cracks, it becomes loose, and then it just never gets fixed again. Or you try to like pour some super glue in there or pour some glue down in there and hope that it, you know, will bond it to itself. The proper way to fix your chair is to, yes, I know it's gonna require a little bit of work, but it's gonna be well worth it because these pieces of furniture that don't have these metal parts in them are actually gonna become valuable and realistically, they will last a really long time. They'll, they'll last your lifetime. So here's the deal. Take it apart. Remove the extra glue that was already on there off. Give it a little bit of sanding, not too much. You don't want to remove a bunch of material off of this and make it loose. You want it to be as fit as tight as possible, okay? So remove the excess glue, give it a little sanding, basically roughing up that for surface so that the glue has something to bond to. Glue it together and clamp it. You want to have as much pressure as possible. Now, you're probably telling me, well, I have no clamp, so therefore I can't do this. Well, you can figure something out, whether you bungee cord it, whether you, you know, duct tape it. Well, not that I really recommend duct taping it, and then you have a sticky mess on your hands. But, so you can wrap it in newspaper and then duct tape the crap out of it or 
anything to hold it together as tightly as possible or just invent it and invest yourself into a $20 clamp and just clamp the sucker together, leave it overnight to dry, and then you're gonna have a sturdy, solid piece. Yes, in 10 years, you may have to re-glue it again, but guess what, it's gonna be well worth it because now that piece of furniture is gonna be way more valuable than it was. Lastly, but not least, types of glues that you're gonna to wanna to use. This is a wood glue, this is a hide glue. These are both perfect for wood applications. Whatever you use glue-wise, what I do recommend is that you don't use too much. Make sure to wipe the excess away, don't leave drips on it or anything like that. Do it as professional, as cleanly as possible, and then you'll really enjoy the piece. I hope you really like this video. I hope it really helps you out a lot. Please give it the thumbs up. Please share it with all your friends. Tell all your friends about it. And most importantly, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks a lot.